Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of BrickLover18 Asks You. Last week here on BrickLover18 Asks You, I asked, is the community out of ideas, like Lego ideas, or is the Lego Ideas team being too picky in regards to not having a single new Lego Ideas set being released after the latest review? I have some pretty good comments to read this week, so let's get right into them. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. Lego Spencer says, I'd argue that since new piece design production is likely at an all-time high and new content from media and Lego themes are just as new, creative, and influential as ever. People are not running out of new ideas, rather still improving with better ideas or innovations to old designs. Seeing old mock builders who are basically the best of the best in the old YouTube Lego versus remembering how I used to admire them and how I saw their mocks compared to the standards of Star Wars today. Example Star Wars today. And how things that have come out today would literally blow people's minds from three years ago's minds. Not to mention older designs and ideas appear to be a lot more bland, as creators today are forced to innovate and disappear into the universe of Lego mocks that has been made. Matt's mock said, Lego is picky. It is so, there are a lot of good things, but most never see that 10,000 mark since Lego Ideas is like YouTube format. Show only the big stuff and original content first. I agree, I really wish there was more original content on LEGO Ideas because it seems like every time I go on there with the main pages, superheroes this, Star Wars that, old movie this, old movie that. Bricks for me said LEGO is being picky, but it's probably because it has to be. Sometimes they can't do mock ideas because it has a license or maybe because new pieces are unavailable to reproduce that set. I agree about the license a lot of times when licensed projects they have to have the license or they just can't make them and there's nothing Lego can do about that except get the license but that's not just as easy as I'm gonna get the license today the brick artist inspiration comes from everywhere I could think of like 50 sets that could be made but I suppose it's just copyright issues not Lego's fault be besides Reaching 10,000 supporters is cool enough. I agree, and I just wish that more sets would reach the 10,000 supporters, especially sets that aren't all the time the, like licensed. I wish that would happen. Brookmaster Studios, I think LEGO is being picky, but all the same time, they can't always get the rights to some things. For example, Fast and the Furious theme set. Brendan Wong says, I think LEGO is quite picky with what they put out. It has to attract a broad demographic as well as create generous profit. For example, LEGO Ideas is for projects, although some designers get a share of the profit Profit, meaning Lego loses profit. Honestly, the creators of Lego Ideas, their sets, they get 1% of the sales Lego gets. 1%. How much is 1% of a Lego set? Let's do some math. I have a piece of paper here as well as my Brick Lover 18 pen. And let's do it. So say the Lego Ideas set, whatever, I'm just going to say a random one, at $65 because that's how much a lot of Canadian idea sets are. If creators get 1%, they get 0.01%. That is a total of 65 cents profit for set that they make for designing the set. And let's say Lego sells 100,000 copies. Or that. I don't know if that's an accurate Lego number, but I'm just going to say 100,000 just for the sake of this video. That is a $65,000 profit for the builder. That's a pretty good wage. That's some people's annual salary. But if you put it into perspective, that builder gets $65,000, but if LEGO were to get the other 99% of the profits, you know, I'm not counting their production costs, they make $6,435,000. There's quite a bit difference when LEGO's making six plus million dollars on the set, and the person who completely designed the set is only making 65000 Something's a little off with those numbers, in my opinion. Tough Bricks NZ, I think LEGO is picky. Bricks are the best, well, LEGO is being picky enough, but normally things don't get enough support. And I know that sometimes projects do get support, but LEGO's just getting picky. Bringing it up says, LEGO is being picky. There are great ideas still up there, or ones that reach 10k, but LEGO passed over. Ebrick says, I don't think LEGO is being picky. They just want something that will sell well. I think people forget sometimes the LEGO Ideas pages is meant for the community as it is a business venture for the LEGO company. Ethan Catterson says LEGO's too picky. Bricks for Max, I reckon they are being picky. Jurassic Brick Productions, LEGO is always being picky and Simon117 does not know. 
So now on to this week's question, a very current question. So early this morning slash late last night, the LEGO to Disney 2016 images were released. My question to you this week is what do you think of these minifigures? The photo is on the screen now and I'm going to give you my opinion. I think these minifigures look so awesome. I mean, look at, these are some of the, my favorite Disney characters, some of the Disney characters I grew up watching. And look, they're all in Lego form and they're just so awesome. And I'm super duper thrilled that they're having Stitch. I mean, that was a big surprise. And Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters ever. And I just can't wait. I really hope to get the entire Disney series. I don't normally say this for a lot of minifigures. And I mean, there's some I can live without. But my goal is honestly get to get the all 18 of these figures. Especially because I'm Brook Lover 18. 18 figures, Brook Lover 18. I have to get It's like Destiny. These figures are so awesome and I really hope to get them all. I definitely cannot wait and they come out May 1st which is really exciting and I'll be in Philadelphia May 1st so I'll make sure I get to a Lego store on May 1st so I can buy these figures. Thanks everybody for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Disney Lego minifigures. These things look really awesome and I'm really excited for them to come out especially because I get a Lego Stitch. Thanks everybody for watching again. Don't forget to leave down below what you think of the new Disney minifigures. Have a great day.